While insurance companies often do provide premium discounts for drivers who put the data logger device in their vehicle, to really get adoption they often have to provide additional incentives such as a driver portal that gives the uh, end user a little view into their own driving behavior or perhaps the driving behavior of someone else in their family. In this case, I'm going to show you a simple application. This is running on the Exceda platform right now, and it is pulling data directly from a couple of data logger devices. One thing you'll notice as I go through this is that not all of these values come directly off of the data logger and the vehicle bus. Um, we get speed and RPM and some other engine data as well as GPS, but um, the Exceda platform really gives you a powerful set of tools to be able to associate data like name, vehicle type, policy number, uh, calculated data like averages and things of that uh, nature that you can use in the application very easily. So you'll see some of that here. We're going to start with a simple trip log. So you see here we've taken all the individual trips and rolled them up into some aggregate numbers for the day. Uh, again, you'll see that some of these values are uh, aggregate values for the entire trip, whereas, uh, for instance, with maximum speed, we picked the highest value and posted it. Again, you can uh, use averages or any other calculated value or the raw values if you'd like in a report like this. Another thing that users will like to see is a uh, trip record uh, visually on the map. And Exceda has a very robust set of um, APIs to to uh, interact with Google Maps or any of the other mapping services. And in this instance, we can quickly see that on this particular trip, uh, Jim drove around the block. Uh, maybe he was testing the data logger. Maybe he was uh, grabbing a donut or coffee or something. But you can uh, quickly and easily see maybe the quickest route to take uh, from point A to point B. Certainly a, a nice uh, sticky application. One of the interesting things with usage-based insurance is most end users or most drivers said that the number one thing they wanted to see was how they compared to other drivers. How safe they were, how many uh, trips they took, how, how, uh, what, what the average drive time was, that kind of thing. So what we have here is a quick average and you'll see um, pretty quickly that Jim drives a lot during the week, uh, much more so than anyone else on the system, but during the weekend um, it looks like uh, the other users drive more than he does. So again, these kinds of uh, calculated values, graphs, and charts are real easy things to throw up. Last, I'll uh, show you quickly the ability to use Exceda's threshold rules and how we've done that. So in this instance, um, we've set up uh, two different types of threshold rules, one around speeding, the other around location. Uh, so let's say you're the parent of a teen and um, you want to make sure that you're notified when they're driving in a way that's unsafe. I live in Atlanta, and uh, unsafe speed in Atlanta is uh, anything above 95 or anything below 90. So we've uh, I've set a little threshold here, but you can pretty easily uh, change the expression rules, and this is a little user interface to, to quickly do that, that are built into the platform. The other thing that you can do is uh, create a little geofence. So you can be notified if your teen drives uh, outside the radius or uh, perhaps if they're somewhere you don't want them to go if they drive inside the, uh, the marked off territory. One of the other interesting things is the interaction that you can get uh, through script engines and, and other tools such as being able to send notifications out via email or text. Uh, or another one that's uh, nifty is the ability to have the system call uh, out and do a text to voice message to to your phone or into your voicemail system. So again, a real great way to interact with the tools and the uh, the expression rules and the script engine that's built into the platform.